You want to be rich? All right, can be rich. You want to be known? You can be known. <clears throat> no matter what you want, but you must be intense about it. And then commune with your own heart upon your bed, and then let it drop. You'll read that in the fourth psalm, the psalm of David. So I say to everyone here, believe me, your own wonderful I amness, your consciousness, your wonderful human imagination that is God and all that you behold though it appears without it is within in your imagination of which this world of mortality is but a shadow so you can change the shadow if you change the object for you are the light he said I am the light of the world change the object that you're holding within yourself and identifying yourself with it. Change that object, you're light enough, and you'll cast a new shadow upon the world. So you say, I am, and you name it, I am gainfully employed, making more than I've ever made before. Don't ask yourself how and why and through whom. That is not your conscious reasoning mind's concern. If you take the intellectual background the educational background of those who are making top money in the theatrical world, I doubt that they could pass any college examination. I don't think they could pass any entrance examination to college. Yet they're making a million dollars, two million dollars a year. Do you think Bob Hope could pass today's examination for entrance into college? But well, all of his material is written for him anyway. Can't even write that. But he has millions, all right, because that's how he dreamt, may I tell you. I know the background of the man. A friend of mine who is now gone from this world, played in vaudeville with him, and he would borrow from my friend every week a sum of money because he had to go to that post office and buy a money, a postal money order and send to his bank. He borrowed money that was interest-free. Because he was sending in money that was not interest-free. He had to send a certain sum of money every week. And he would send it into his account. And both my friend, Harry Webb, who had a band. And they played together. Not in the same act. Harry had his own act. He has a, a small band. And Harry was the outgoing personality who didn't care about money. And so he wanted money. Hope wanted money. He would loan him the money. He always paid it back the next week and borrowed it again because he had to have so much in that bank every week. And when they would go into a restaurant and pool was left over, like bread and butter, who took it all home? Bob Hope. Bob took all the buns, all the rolls, all everything that was there uneaten. He paid for it, and you paid for it. You don't want it, Harry, do you? No. All right, so he took it home. So he has 400 million, so they claim. That was his goal in life. If that's your goal, have it. I speak of another goal. The goal of awakening to who we are. When man awakens from this dream, the whole vast world and all that it contains is as nothing to the being that you are. You came down from heaven where the whole is yours. As you're told in the 50th Psalm, if I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you. For the world is mine, and all within it. The cattle on a thousand hills are mine. So why should I tell anyone of my need when it's all mine anyway? I would slay and eat. When you awaken, you don't ask anyone if you awaken from this dream of life. But while you're in it, all right, we're one. He heard it, he is still hearing it, and he will continue to hear it until that which he has heard is perfectly externalized. When you pray, go within and close the door of the senses. Deny all that seems so obvious, and your Father who is within will reward you openly. But commune with self, for you and the Father are one. So you commune with self. And what does he tell you? Exactly what? was asked of you. He heard it, and he has all the ways and means that you on the surface of your being know not of. 
He will do it. You can ask anything. All I ask is to go to the end. If I go to the end and give thanks to the end, and for the end, it's done. Now let the one in the depths of my own being devise the best means to take me to that end. The end is where I start. The end is my beginning. <clears throat> and that is a story that I know from personal experience. So do not attempt to devise the means. The end is where we begin. In my end is my beginning. And we're always ahead of our evidence. So I go to the end. I see the whole thing done. And let it happen in my world. So to come back, the I within you now. When you say I, no matter how little you have thought yourself so far, May I tell you, you are the infinite God. And when the story of Jesus Christ repeats itself within you, you will know it's all I.